Haiti is a small Caribbean nation located on the island of Hispaniola. Despite its small size, Haiti is rich in natural resources such as gold, copper, and silver. However, in recent years, a new resource has been discovered in Haiti that has caught the attention of the global scientific community, iridium. Iridium is a rare and valuable metal that is primarily used in the production of high-performance alloys for the aerospace industry. It is also used in the production of high-performance spark plugs, electrical contacts, and other industrial applications. Iridium is one of the rarest elements on Earth. In 2012, a team of scientists led by Dr. Stephen Dutch from the University of Wisconsin-Madison discovered significant deposits of iridium in Haiti. The discovery was made using data obtained from remote sensing techniques that included airborne gamma-ray spectrometry and magnetic surveying. The data revealed that the iridium deposits were located in the northern part of Haiti, near the town of port de paix The discovery of iridium in Haiti is significant for several reasons. First, the deposits are estimated to be one of the largest in the world, with an estimated value of around 20 billion. Second, the discovery challenges the current scientific understanding of iridium deposits, which are thought to be mainly associated with meteorite impact craters. The Haitian iridium deposits are believed to have been formed by the same tectonic processes that created the island of Hispaniola. The deposits are thought to be associated with a specific type of rock formation known as serpentinite. Serpentinite is a greenish rock that is commonly found in areas of tectonic activity, such as subduction zones. Despite the significant value of the Haitian iridium deposits, their exploitation has been hindered by a range of political and economic challenges. Haiti is one of the poorest countries in the world, with a long history of political instability and corruption. The government has struggled to attract foreign investment in the mining sector, and there is widespread concern about the impact of mining on the environment and local communities. In addition, the exploitation of iridium is a complex and expensive process that requires advanced mining and processing technologies. The cost of developing the necessary infrastructure and expertise to mine the iridium deposits is estimated to be in the billions of dollars. Despite these challenges, there is growing interest in the Haitian iridium deposits among international mining companies and investors. The government has recently taken steps to streamline the mining permitting process and improve the regulatory environment for mining operations. The discovery of iridium in Haiti has put the country on the map as a potential source of this valuable and rare metal. However, the challenge of exploiting these deposits in a responsible and sustainable way remains significant. The Haitian government and international investors will need to work together to ensure that the economic benefits of mining do not come at the expense of the environment and local communities. Based on recent reports, Canadian and US companies have carried out some drilling that has led to the discovery of valuable metals, such as gold, silver and copper, with an estimated worth close to 20 billion. This discovery is considered to be a potential economic benefit for the country. According to various news websites, Canadian company Eurasian Minerals plans to start gold mining operations in Haiti's three northern provinces within the next 12 months. The company currently controls rights to more than a third of the northern region, which encompasses an area of at least 1,500 square kilometers. As of now, the company has tested over 44,000 samples and has teamed up with Newmont, the world's second largest gold producer. Several North American companies have been granted licenses or conventions for land in Haiti, amounting to over 750 square kilometers. Experts have estimated that in total, these companies hold licenses for approximately 15% of Haiti's land. These companies have dedicated over $30 million for exploratory activities such as digging, drilling and testing to validate the deposits of gold in the same region as the iridium mines. The company's operations were met with opposition from local communities and environmental groups who raised concerns about the potential impact on water sources, agriculture and cultural heritage sites. The exploration and exploitation of Haiti's mineral resources have been hampered by the country's political and economic instability, as well as concerns about environmental and social impact.
Any future efforts to mine iridium or other precious metals in Haiti will likely be subject to intense scrutiny and debate, given the complex challenges involved. Iridium is a metallic element and is a hard, brittle, dense and silvery white metal that is highly resistant to corrosion and has a very high melting point. It is one of the rarest elements in the Earth's crust. Iridium is also one of the most expensive metals on the planet and it has several unique properties that make it valuable in various applications, including aerospace, electronics, and medicine. One of the most interesting facts about iridium is that it is present in relatively high concentrations in some meteorites. In fact, it was the discovery of an iridium-rich layer in sedimentary rocks around the world that led to the theory that an asteroid impact caused the extinction of the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. The high concentration of iridium in the boundary layer of rocks around the world is thought to have come from the vaporization and distribution of the asteroid material in the atmosphere, which then settled on the Earth's surface. This theory was first proposed by Luis Alvarez and his son Walter in 1980, and was later supported by geological and paleontological evidence. Although iridium is present in some meteorites, it is not entirely clear whether the element originates from them. It is thought that iridium may have formed in the early universe through a process called explosive nucleosynthesis, which occurs in supernovae explosions. The element could then have been scattered throughout the galaxy by supernova explosions and eventually accreted onto the Earth during its formation. In addition to its presence in meteorites, iridium is also found in small quantities in ores of other metals, such as platinum, nickel, and copper. It is mainly extracted as a byproduct of platinum mining, where it is present in small amounts in the ores. The mining and refining of iridium is a complex and expensive process, which contributes to its high cost and rarity. Iridium has a wide range of applications due to its unique properties. It is used in spark plugs, crucibles and other high temperature applications due to its high melting point and resistance to corrosion. It is also used in various electronic devices, including magnetic disk drives and mobile phones, due to its excellent electrical conductivity and resistance to oxidation. In addition, iridium is used in medicine for the treatment of cancer, where it is used in the form of radioactive isotopes. While iridium is present in some meteorites, it is not entirely clear whether the element originates from them. The element is highly valuable due to its unique properties, and its rarity and high cost make it a highly sought-after commodity. The discovery of an iridium-rich layer in sedimentary rocks around the world has contributed to our understanding of the extinction of the dinosaurs and the role of asteroid impacts in shaping the Earth's history. So, what do you make of these iridium deposits in Haiti? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.